We all have dreams and fantasies of the kind of houses we want to live in, be it mobile homes or the less famous, rare, stationary home. Even though some of us have already built or live in their dream homes, the rest of us don't have that luxury. My dream home, for example, is already being occupied by somebody. Jeff Bezos. So out of spite and jealousy, let's take a look at Jeff Bezos' many mansions and try to find out if maybe, just maybe, he'll be moving out of one of them soon. Welcome back to our channel. Before we begin, make sure you have subscribed and ring that bell so you never miss a video from us. When you're the richest person in the world, you're probably going to have properties around the country, if not the world. A lot of properties to be exact. I'm talking mansions so grand it inspires multiple YouTube videos. So let's take a look at the houses Jeff Bezos has been spending his billions on. Let's start with Washington, D.C. Mansion. This home isn't nearly as large or sprawling as some, it's a lot more modest. Then again, this mansion was the largest home ever sold in Washington, D.C., so maybe modest isn't the word. The mansion didn't exactly come cheap either. This 100-year-old property once upon a time was a textile mill, eventually converted into the home it is today. Bezos purchased the property for $23 million, which as usual included the original building and the one next to it, adding up to 34,000 square feet, 25 bathrooms, 11 bedrooms, a wine cellar, a whiskey tasting room, three kitchens, and to top it all off, a grand ballroom. Hey, Bezos has to find his lucky lady, and a picking up a dropped shoe is how he does it, no judgment. Purchasing the property wasn't simply enough for Bezos, however, he wasn't done yet. He launched a $12 million renovation project that went from 2016 to 2019. This project was so massive that it required several contractors to line up their vehicles in front of the building, parking illegally, eventually racking up $16,000 1800 dollars worth of fines to the city. But then again, the man just dropped $35 million on a textile factory. I don't think he minds. His neighbors, on the other hand, weren't very pleased with the illegally parked cars blocking streets and pedestrians, even pasting no parking signs to their doors, which is just super surprising. Who wouldn't love loud and unending construction work going on for three years? Even though intricate pictures of the inside of the mansion are hard to come by, in January 2020, Bezos threw a lavish party, giving the mansion its social day. Big-name partygoers like Bill Gates, Mitt Romney, Ivanka Trump, Ben Stiller, and David Rubenstein were in attendance. Unsurprisingly, guests had nothing but praise to say about the mansion, with one guest describing the decor as theatrical. It's pretty clear that Bezos intends to turn this mansion into the premier party location for the upper class in Washington, and not something silly like a house to live in. New York Penthouse are you even a multi-billionaire if you don't have a property in New York? Bezos certainly doesn't think so. Even though Amazon abandoned its plans for its headquarters in New York, that didn't stop Bezos from joining the ranks of wealthy people with deluxe apartments in the sky. In 2019, Jeff Bezos purchased his own exclusive luxury property called The Crown, which is the penthouse at 212 Fifth Avenue. The building has 48 residential condos with high ceilings and hardwood floors and an amazing view of Madison Square Park to top it off. Very impressive, but nowhere near near as impressive as the crown that sits on top of it. Bezos lives in an $80 million, three-level penthouse apartment at the top of this iconic neo-gothic skyscraper, one of the first skyscrapers to ever grace the New York skyline. One of the more impressive things about the crown is its sheer scale, 10,000 square feet of interior space paired with the 6,000 square feet of outdoor space. The crown has transcended the title of penthouse. From the Empire State Building to the Flatiron Building to Madison Square Park, all the way to Freedom Tower. The views available to Bezos from this building are to kill for. But good luck getting to Bezos and just trying to get up to the crown requires you to use a private elevator. The crown comes equipped with five bedrooms and five bathrooms, all brilliantly designed and furnished. The grand room features northern, eastern, and southern exposures and a massive skylight overhead, as well as a host of spaces designed for leisure, reflection, and entertainment, such as the rooftop terrace where you can take your guests and impress them with your $23,000 glass foosball table, a library, and of course, a massive ballroom. My Cinderella theory really is coming together, isn't it? The top floor of this multi-layered penthouse is known as the Observer aptly named, too. It's a single room with glass walls, giving you a panoramic view of the city around you. And oh yeah, it has a pool. Surely there's a more fitting word than penthouse. Calling it that feels like a disservice to the crown. The penthouse was originally going for $73.8 million, but Bezos purchased it for a bargain at $60 million. Good thing, too, wouldn't want him going broke. After that, he purchased two additional floors of the building to expand the penthouse, turning it into the sprawling mansion in the sky it is today. Why? <laughs> 
because that's what Jeff Bezos does. Bezos Beverly Estate in California. This massive palatial estate isn't just fancy, it's got quite a bit of history to it as well. It was built in 1930 for Warner Brothers co-founder Jack Warner, making it almost 100 years old. Back then, the estate was a party hotspot, hosting celebrities and Hollywood heavyweights. It was even known as the Party Palace. The mansion has hosted wealthy and famous people like Jimmy Stewart, Audrey Hepburn, Howard Hughes, and even Albert Einstein was invited to the mansion. I mean, the Beverly Estate is a sprawling nine-acre compound with a breathtaking garden and a nine-hole golf course on the property. Who wouldn't want to party here? Jeff Bezos purchased this property in February 2020 for an insane $165 million, which was the most expensive California property sale ever. And we all know how notoriously cheap California property is. So, what does this estate have to offer? If I were to guess the part of this estate that stands out the most, my money would be on the massive 13,000 square foot mansion that sits in the middle of it. If you guessed the massive golf course, allow me to prove you wrong. The mansion sitting inside this estate isn't just huge, it's also elegant and built in a Georgian architectural style. It comes equipped with eight bedrooms and nine bathrooms, a bar fit for a multi-billionaire, a library, a huge dining room large enough to fit 14 people, a screening room, and a sunroom because why even leave the house anymore? But since it's probably unhealthy to spend all day inside the mansion, Bezos has made sure the outside looks just as good as the inside. The estate is covered in manicured gardens and terraces and surrounded by incredibly tall hedges to ensure privacy. Bezos and his team of talented gardeners have ensured that every inch of the property is covered in lush greenery. Well, every inch except the massive pool and hot tub he has on the property, the tennis court, or the other two guest houses that all fit on this ridiculously large estate. Bezos' compound comes equipped with two ponds, a tree nursery, and three greenhouses. It wouldn't be too much of a stretch to say this estate pretty much has its own ecosystem at this point, would it? Apparently, space was limited on this massive estate, I guess, prompting Bezos to pull a classic and purchasing the property neighboring his own for $10 million in 2020. Even though it's not nearly as big or as expensive as the Beverly Estate, it's nothing to scoff at. The property features three bedrooms, five bathrooms, a courtyard, a den, and six fireplaces, because you can't be too warm, I suppose. The neighboring property does share a hedge with the estate, so its purchase does make sense, but honestly, I think Bezos just wanted to make his massive estate even more sprawling. Corn Ranch like many billionaires and millionaires, Jeff Bezos has adopted the rough-and-tough lifestyle and bought himself a ranch. But as we all know, Bezos isn't exactly like most billionaires, so he didn't just buy himself any ranch. Corn Ranch is a 165,000-acre ranch in the West Texas town of Van Horn. It's bigger than every other property on this list combined. Buying this ranch predictably put Bezos back a few million dollars, which he promptly made back in a few months, probably. Corn Ranch isn't big for nothing, either. It serves as a launch site for blue oil. Origin, Bezos Rocket Space Flight Company, which has its home base in Washington and about 50 employees on the ranch. Bezos also stated that he plans to use the ranch as a getaway for himself and his children during the summer, effectively making it both summer camp and space camp rolled into one. Now, these are just some of Jeff Bezos' many, many properties. The properties on this list alone have a combined value of over $300 million. We couldn't possibly hope to properly cover all of Bezos' properties on this video. Despite all that, his net worth still sits at a company comfortable $201 billion and is steadily growing. Clearly, these houses are not holding him back. It's amazing to think how Amazon started from such humble beginnings in the garage of a house worth $281,000. And even though the property is now worth $1.49 million, Bezos could purchase it using 0.001% of his net worth. No wonder they predict he's on the fast track to becoming a trillionaire. So, which one of these insane mansions do you think he'd give out for free? And if someone were to say, illegally squat in one of these buildings? What are the chances of not going to jail? Please comment below, and if you enjoyed this video, do leave us a like and check out the King Luxury channel for more videos all about luxury. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.